Chadwick Boseman dying on Friday. I was bummed for like two days about that. I looked I really, at my it, phone. It really did. I bunny. saw. I saw the. And it's very rare that you know I say something. But I, I, I just looked at the news and went fuck. Yeah. Just instantly fuck. That guy was cool. Yeah. It's like that losing that guy. And I remember I saw these uh, pictures and videos of him where he was uh, real, real thin in the past. And I thought maybe he was like doing some radical fasting or something. Like I didn't, I had no idea. No one had any idea other than his close family that he was sick, but just what an interesting guy. And just what a sad loss. He was so brilliant. Like that speech that he gave, the, the, the graduating class speech that he gave, where he's talking about all of the things that happened to you are preparing you for your life and preparing you for the great things that can happen to you and how you'll grow from them. Just his perspective. He was just such a brilliant guy. It's such, it sucks so hard that some assholes live forever. <laughs> 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 and some really cool people die young and, and and he was one of them. You know, I, I put on my Instagram. Oh, fuck, I'm tearing up. I put on my Instagram uh, a video of him doing Wing Chun, you know, getting ready for the, the, the Black Panther movie. And it's just, you know, when you see a, a, a person that it was inspirational for so many. Have you ever seen that video where uh, the Avengers movie, I'll really tear up if I talk about this. And when in the Avengers movie, when there is a video that someone took from the audience where they see him show up on screen and the whole audience goes crazy. Yeah. Have you seen that? Yeah. It's, it's amazing. I mean, like that movie meant so much to people. It, it meant more to people than just a superhero movie. Cause it was really the first all black cast superhero movie. You know, I mean, the, the previous superheroes that were, you know, you had Luke Cage on uh, Netflix. That was it, right? Luke Cage. Yep, that was on Netflix, and, yeah. And you, you had, you know, other than that, you had Blade, Wesley Snipes. But it's just, there's such a disparity in terms of like black superhero movies versus uh, so, there's so many white superhero movies. And for one to be done and then to become literally one of the biggest movies in the history of film. I mean, that movie was a spectacular box office success. And he was so perfect in the role. And as a human being outside of the movie, he was so perfect to, to be that guy, you know, to, to be this, this, this guy who embodies what you would want from a, a movie star and a, and a guy in a position of prominence and a guy who, you know, has a voice. And uh, to see him die at 43 of cancer, it's just... You know, I mean, what I said when I looked at my phone was just, that's what, I mean, that's how I felt. Just fuck. I had no idea. No, you know, none of idea. us had any idea. And it also speaks to his character that he suffered in silence like that. And he, he didn't make a big deal of the fact that he was tr trying to get through cancer. It's a bummer, man. I saw a video of him visiting a cancer ward, talking to kids and he had cancer. Yeah, they probably didn't tell anybody. It's crazy. 